Father, we worship you. We honor you. We adore you. We bless your name. Thank you for a beautiful day that you have made this morning. This is the day that you have made. Oh, Lord, we will rejoice. We will be glad in it. We bless your name, oh God. We give you praise. We honor you. We adore you. Oh, glory to the Lamb of God which sits upon the throne. Oh, Abuzi Agabarate Kabarasa Tudi Akaparanda Baruzi. Mazo Brele Geduzani Katubaris Kabalande Bans Kabrahanta Laba. Thank you, Jesus, for waking us up this morning. Manosia Kabalante Bayata. We give you praise, Lord. We give you praise, Lord. We honor you. We bless your name, O oh God. La keba bosiki bayanta balosia kabalande babosiki branta. Kade brakate barosia kabalante kuraba shante libraha de leboroska. Father, we thank you. Father, we bless your name. Father, we exalt you. We give you all the praise. We give you all the honor. Misa tuki babasia. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We bless your name, Lord. We bless your name, Lord. Be thou exalted. Be thou glorified. Lambro tabaya baba. Ora baya brakata la baba. Words are not able to sum you up. Le broto barosa bandi barasa Glory to the Lamb of God who sits upon the throne. Father, we bless your name. Be thou exalted, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus, we have worship. Good morning, Father. Good morning, Lord Jesus Christ. Good morning, precious Holy Spirit of grace. Hallelujah. Amen. 
What a wonderful day to be alive, the 29th day of March 2021. Oh, hallelujah. It's just two days to the end of March. We are grateful to God for his mercies which that endures forever. We are so grateful. Thank you, Father. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. I'd like to say a big thank you to Dunsi Oye Kong. Powerful song, powerful song, powerful song. Words are not able to sum up our God. There's no word in the vocabulary that is being able to put together our God. And so we say, even if, our, if we had the thousand tongues, we are not able to sum him up, but we are grateful to him. Amen. Blessed be his name forever. And blessed be the name of the Lord for the grace of God upon your life. Do sing Oyekon. You you turn out powerful worship songs. And we are grateful to God for you. The Lord increase you on every side. Bless you and do you good. We do not have the right to play the song, but we believe that grace is available to spread the gospel through your ministration. And we are thankful to you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If it was your birthday yesterday, happy birthday. Happy birthday to all the March children. Amen. The Lord bless you. If it was your birthday yesterday, if it is today, if it will be tomorrow, happy birthday. If it was your wedding anniversary yesterday, happy wedding anniversary. If it is today and if it will be tomorrow, happy wedding anniversary. The Lord bless all of you. The Lord do you good in the land of the living. The Lord take you to heights beyond your expectation and imagination. Oh, hallelujah. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Yesterday in our church, I, was, I started to speak about game changers. Game changers. And today, you know, the Lord just impressed it upon my heart to continue in that line. Um, so I'm going to be talking about developing into a game changer. Hallelujah. You are not born a game changer. You develop into a game changer. You are born for a purpose, but you develop into a game changer. Hallelujah. You are, born, you are born for a purpose, but you develop into a game changer. Hallelujah. There is a mandate of God upon your life to be everything that he has called you to be. For whom he did, for no, he did predestinate. For whom he did predestinate, he called. Those that he called, he justified. And those that he justified, he glorified. There is always a call of God upon your life for a mandate. Hallelujah. And there is a place called there for you. Let's look at the book of Hebrews chapter 11. We look at Hebrews 11. We look at... Um, uh, Hebrews 11, and then we are going to go and look at the book of Luke chapter 1. Hallelujah. But let's start from Hebrews 11. He said, the Bible says, 11.32, And what shall I more say? For time will fail me to tell you of Gideon, and of Barak, and of Samson, and of Jephthah, of David also, and Samuel, and of the prophets, who through faith subdued kingdoms, wrought righteousness, obtained promises, stopped the mouth of lions, quenched the violence of fire, escaped the edge of the sword, out of weakness were made strong, was valiant in fight, turned to flight the armies of the aliens. Hallelujah. Of particular mention, and that's where I'm going to actually anchor. Of particular mention is the man Jephthah. 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 Of particular mention is the man Jephthah. Amen. 
He said, Bible says, And what shall I more say? For time will fail me to tell of Gideon and of Barak, of Samson and of Jephthah. Of Jephthah. That Jephthah boy that was born, in quotes, by a harlot. Born by a harlot. Judges chapter 11, 1 to 3. That Jephthah that was told that you have no portion with us. That Jephthah that was rejected. That Jephthah Jeff, that, that was the stone that, was, that the builders rejected. It's my case study this morning. That Jephthah that his beginning was not good. That Jephthah who came out of someone who nobody would honor or reckon with. Whose background, parental background was not a story to be told. His mother was a harlot. But Jephthah was a game changer. How did Jephthah become a game changer? Let me tell you something. Your background does not have any effect on your outcome. Your background does not have any effect on your, back, or on your outcome. Your background will only have effect on your, back, on your outcome if you allow it. After all, Jabez was born in sorrow and his mother named him Jabez. Sorrowful. Out of sorrow, I gave birth to him. But Jabez refused to be sorrowful. Amen. Jabez told God. The Bible says, but Jabez was more honorable than his brethren. Your background, your background does not keep your back on the ground. Except you allow it. So, this Jephthah. What does Jephthah mean in Hebrews? Yiftak. That is, that's, the way it's, that's the way it's pronounced. Yiftak. Yiftak. Yiftak means he will open. It means he will open. It means to loosen, to begin, to plow the ground. It means to carve open, to appear. And I love this, to break forth. Hallelujah. Who is a game changer? A game changer is an individual who, uh, who, 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 who changes the way things are done. Whose influence turns around the way things are done. With a view to building up to be above competition. That's where a game changer is. Hallelujah. The game changer is that person who brings his A game when the odds are against the company. Hallelujah. So, there were so many things I said yesterday. And I'll try not to repeat myself. But if you are not part of it, if you go to Trem Vision House, YouTube page, Facebook page, you will find that message, the game changer. Hallelujah. The ultimate game changer is Jesus Christ. He is the ultimate game changer. And we are going to be gleaning from the life of Christ and, and using it to discuss uh, my case study today. Hallelujah. So I've got to run because I've got just a few minutes more. Listen to this. Luke chapter 1 verse 80. The book of Luke chapter 1 verse 80. Luke chapter 1 verse 80. And the child grew 
and was strong in spirit and was in the desert till the day of his showing unto Israel. Luke chapter 2 verse 52. And Jesus increased in wisdom and stature and in favor with God and with man. Hallelujah. Luke 180, Luke 252. Luke 180 and Luke 252. Hallelujah. And Jesus increased. So, the child grew. So if you want to develop into a game changer, growth is a necessary part. So the first thing I'm going to talk about is growth. Growth, development, self-development is a necessary part. You must develop yourself. Hallelujah. Now, listen to this. Never show up until you are fully developed. Never show up until you are fully developed. The center stage is not meant for test running. Let me say that again. The, the center stage is not meant for a test run. The center stage is not meant for a test run. You must do all your test run at the backstage. Amen. Amen. You don't test on the field of play in a, in a, in a match on a match day. You test in the practice pitch. David tended his sheep at the backside of the desert. Amen. Amen. He fought with lions and, and the bear at the backside of the desert. But he fought and defeated Goliath at the center stage. Coming to fight Goliath was not a test run. He said, I know that the Lord will deliver him into my hands. Because David was a game changer. So growth is necessary. You must grow. Jephthah was thrown out by his brothers. Jephthah went to self-develop. Judges chapter 11. He went to self-develop. He didn't just start fighting. The Bible says that he came to the land of Tob and vain men gathered together with him. And they were vain men. Watch this. They were vain men. And they became mighty warriors. How did they become mighty warriors? Listen to me. Listen to me, people of God, and hear me clearly. Jephthah himself had to develop himself. You cannot give what you do not have. You cannot give what you do not have. It is what you have on the inside of you that you can pour out. Hallelujah. And so for Jephthah to make vain men, great men of war, he had to develop himself first of all. Yes, now he had to also develop capacity to transfer, hallelujah, to transfer knowledge to others and to transform. Yes, you cannot, you can't, the fact that you know something does not mean that you have capacity to transfer it to others. So there is need to learn how to transfer knowledge to others and to ensure that the knowledge you are transferring to them will transform them. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. A game changer is someone who transfers and who transforms. Hallelujah. A game changer is someone who transfers and is someone who transforms. Is a person of influence. A game changer is a person of influence. A game changer is a person of influence. He is not a person of power, he is a person of authority. Amen. In other words, his influence carries authority. So self-develop, build that capacity. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In Jude chapter 1 verse 20 it says, building up yourself. I don't want to read the other part of in your most holy faith. Building up yourself. I want to focus on the word build. To build is to mount on each other until you get to the desired goal. So mount, mount knowledge on each other in your life until you get to that desired goal. Amen. Amen. So to build up is to be schooled. You can self-school. 
You can be schooled by others. Galatians chapter 4 and verse 1. The Bible says that the child, as long as uh, uh, the hair, as long as it's a child, develop, de uh, de um, defareth not from a servant. He is under two toss until the day appointed by his father. So tutoring is key. For a child to grow, he must be tutored. Hallelujah. For you to grow into a game changer, you must be tutored. You must be tutored. You must be tutored. You must be willing to learn. Second Timothy chapter 2 verse 15 says that study to show yourself approved a workman that needed not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. Amen. Amen. Hebrews chapter 5 verse 8 says that though he were a son, yet learned he obedience by the things which he suffered. He learned. Jesus learned. You must, you must be tutored. Acts 7.22, the Bible says that Moses learned the wisdom of the Egyptians. Yet Moses became the game changer. But he learned, first of all, he learned, so growth is necessary, self-develop, hide yourself and learn. Hide yourself and learn. Sit down to be tutored. You can tutor yourself, you can be tutored by others. It is, it is a necessity of life. To be tutored is a necessity of life. Hallelujah. Game changers are not born. They are developed. They have the talent, but they must develop into a game changer. You are born with a gift. You are born with a talent, but your talent will not have the necessary influence it's supposed to make if it is not developed. And so development is key. Grow. 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 Take root downwards and grow tall. Take root downwards and grow tall. Then you can stand strong. Let me say that again. Take root downwards, you will grow tall, then you will stand strong. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So, you must grow. So, Jephthah went out to the land of Tob, and Jephthah Developed, self developed. Hallelujah. Self developed. Please, self developed. The Bible says in Luke chapter 1, verse 80, and the child grew. The child grew. And the child grew. And the child grew. And the child grew. And waxed strong in spirit. He grew physically. He worked strong in spirit. Yes. Yes. You grow physically. You work strong in spirit. He worked strong in spirit. Hallelujah. He developed an aspect that man cannot physically touch. There's an aspect of you that cannot be physically touched. You need to develop that aspect. An aspect that cannot be taken away from you. An aspect that cannot be that cannot be torn away from you. It is called development in the spirit. That's why Judges chapter Judges chapter uh, 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 one. I mean Jude chapter one verse twenty says, "Building up yourself in your most holy faith, praying in the Holy Ghost." That's that aspect that cannot be taken from you. The spiritual cannot be taken from you except you give it away. Hallelujah. Build yourself up. Yes, Amen. Amen. Build yourself up. Build yourself up. Now you cannot self-develop without patience. So patience is key if you are going to be tutored. Patience is key. 
Patience is key. The people that will tutor you, maybe even people that you don't feel like. Look at look at Joash, for instance, a king being tutored by his nurse on how to be a king. Hallelujah. It's important for you to understand. Patience is a very necessary virtue if you want to develop into a game changer. Patience is a very necessary virtue if you want to develop into a game changer. Jephthah was very patient. Imagine when his brothers told him, you don't have any part with us. You don't have any part with us. Your mother is a prostitute, a harlot, so you don't have any part with us. You will not share in our father's inheritance. He did not argue with anybody. He didn't say a word. The Bible says instead, Jephthah fled. Judges chapter 11, verse 3. Instead, Jephthah fled from the presence of the brothers and went to the land of Tob and patiently developed. You listen to me. He was patient. He was not, he was not angry with his brothers. He never, he never, he never, he, he, he never sought for vengeance. He never sought anything. He just said, listen to me. The only way to silence these people is to create my own. Hallelujah. They want to inherit the father's. The father's, my father's property, that's fine. My father's legacy, that's fine. And they say I'm not part of them. But there is something they can't take away from me. It's the gift that is in me. And for that gift to become very useful, I must develop it. So he began to develop himself. Listen to me, you have what they can't take from you. Stop looking outwards. Look into yourself. The capacity for for becoming a game changer is with you. The gift, the talent, the potential is with you. Is with you. So ensure that you, you, you put it together. Hallelujah. Patience. Jephthah was patient. Hallelujah. So growth requires patience. Hallelujah. Growth requires patience. A game changer must develop the power of observation and interpretation. Amen. A game changer must develop the power of observation and interpretation. I said something yesterday in our church and I want to repeat it here today. Game changers often don't start the game. They are brought into the game after a while. Game changers often don't start the game. Moses did not start with the children of Israel in Goshen. Moses, Moses was on the bench in the palace. Amen. Amen. He was on the bench in the palace. When it was time for Moses to be introduced, Moses came from the backside of the desert. Someone who has been locked out of oppressions. Locked out of the scheme of things. God wanted him to observe from a distance. The power of observation and interpretation is key. If you want to be developed into a game changer. Hallelujah. Jephthah. Jephthah was, didn't, fight, didn't start the battle against his people with them. Jephthah was in the land of Tob somewhere developing himself. Game changers often times are not introduced from the beginning of the game. They are left on the bench to, to observe, to study patterns. Hallelujah. So observation is key. The power of observation, ability to discern, to study patterns is key if you must become a game changer. Hallelujah. Joseph. Had the power of observation and interpretation. Thank you so much, Mama Afi. Yes, a game changer only appears when the time is right. Amen. A game changer only appears when the time is right. Number three, a game changer must possess a quiet spirit. A game changer is not a noisemaker. Yes, 
He's not everywhere. He's not everywhere before he's introduced. He's not everywhere before his introduction. It's only when he's introduced into the field of play that the game changer influences how the game goes. So he has a quiet spirit. In John chapter 8, when they brought the woman, when they, when they brought the woman that was caught in adultery, Jesus didn't answer them. He was writing on the floor. He possessed himself with a quiet spirit. And eventually when he was going to speak, oh my God, Everybody disappeared and the game changed for the woman. Develop yourself into a game changer. Jephthah was in the land of two. And when the people came, the elders came to him to say to him, Jephthah, we have heard about your exploits at the backside. It's time to take the center stage. Jephthah said, except I become captain. I want to command the kingdom. And they said, you have it. Listen to me. A game changer is a commander. He commands, he commands everything in the field of play. All eyes are on him when he is introduced. Amen. Focus is on him. He creates opportunities for others to excel. A game changer creates opportunities for others to excel. Developing into a game changer. If the Lord wills, I will continue this series. But developing into a game changer requires growth. Your growth process requires patience. Hallelujah. It requires patience. You must develop the power of observation. You must have eyes. Hallelujah. Have eyes. You must have eyes. You must, ha you must have your mind being able to interpret. The eyes of your understanding being enlightened. You must be able to interpret what you see. Hallelujah. Then you must possess yourself in a quiet spirit. This week is your opportunity to change the game. Hallelujah. I want you to just take two minutes to pray. Take two minutes to pray. This week is your opportunity. It's your opportunity. It's your opportunity. Is your opportunity. Alabosia Cabayante Bagasata. Gibra Catilla Basante Lebosia Branta Lavosia Lavosata. Ayaki Bracatilla Bashata Lavasata. We give you praise, Lord. Ke broko to la ba shante le bete kori akapaya. Zege brege de le belu zigi balante branka tali kato ya gabare sakaya. Jos ge brente li baluza. Father, I give you the praise. In the mighty name of Jesus. I pray for you that God will continue to help you develop. Will continue to help you develop. Will continue to help you develop. I always say this to people as I pray for them. Don't ask for the opportunities yet. Ask for a, ask for a growth. So that when you are prepared, the opportunity will meet your preparation. 
Hallelujah. Because it's so, it's, it's, it's tragic for you to have an opportunity that you cannot use because you are ill prepared. My wife will always say, better to have it and not need it than to need it and not have it. And it's important that God gives you ability, patience to prepare so that when the opportunity comes, it will meet the preparation. A prepared mind is never taken unawares. He's able Jesus, for he himself knew what to do. Father, thank you. This is a beautiful week for your children. Amen. I decree and I declare the blessings of heaven upon you. Amen. The blessings of the, of the earth upon you. Amen. The grace and the glory of God goes with you. The power of the spirit is your portion. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. The Lord cause his face to shine upon you. Grant you the very righteous desires of your heart. Yes, the Lord take you to your death. And your influence, your, your, your scope of your influence enlarged Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, precious Lord. You. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. I want to say a big thank you to all of you. It's so good to see you, Sammy Sparkle, all the way from South Africa, always on this call. God bless you. I um, want to thank, thank you all and thank... Uh, uh bmg for for saturday it was such an awesome time you know i followed it i followed it and it was such an awesome time and she's coming back again praise the name of the lord amen she's coming back again amen uh i'd like to encourage you to um um go to knox to nugget 745 745 knox to nugget um with your meal today, you will be blessed. Amen. Amen. And I'd like to adv advertise ahead of time, the 12th of April. Amen. BMG will be speaking on Knox to Nugget, 12th of April, and she's going to be talking about estate, estate, uh, 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 estate um, uh, management. When you're talking about managing your 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 life for retirement, your estate. Amen. So it's important that. You are part of that program, Knox to Nugget, on YouTube, Instagram. Uh, you, you will be blessed by it. But tune in at 7.45 today and just enjoy real life, real life, real life um, um, insight for living. God bless you. Real good is my prayer. You have a beautiful day until I see you again on Wednesday. Stay blessed and stay safe.